Let's turn our attention back to Bob Ben Moshe, the AIG CEO, who yesterday announced that he has cancer and is undergoing aggressive chemotherapy. It is hard to understate Ben Moshe's impact on AIG. He pulled the company back from the brink and put it on track to pay back the U.S. government's monster bailout. For more on the situation, we welcome John Ede of Argus Research, one of the top-ranked analysts on AIG. He is with us on the, f the phone uh, bright and early this morning. Uh, John, we don't know a lot about Bob Ben Mache's condition. What we do know is that he does not plan to step down from the CEO's job even temporarily, or at least that's the sign that we're getting from AIG. Uh, let's hypothetically say that for the sake of his health, he does have to step aside for a period of time. What would happen to AIG? Well, um, certainly it is sad news for, for Mr. Ben Moshe, and we at Argus wish him a, a speedy recovery. He has, as, as you mentioned, uh, had a, a tremendous impact on AIG, mostly on the um, strategic level. He has worked hard yes. on selling assets and raising money to um, put the company back on track to repay the government. And his two biggest deals are, are closing or are about to close just in the next week when uh, uh, you know they had the IPO of AIA last week uh, that was a success oversubscribed and they are about to sell their Alico uh, international operations to MetLife for another 15 billion and that deal closes on uh, no, November 1st. So but, but John, that's not to say that uh, Bob Ben Moshe, Ben Moshe's work is done, right? He, he, uh, there's still a lot to do at AIG. There's still uh, many, many tens, if not hundreds of billions of dollars uh, that need to be returned to the U.S. taxpayers. So try to put in perspective uh, how, how critical Bob Ben Moshe is to AIG for us and uh, how much support he can count on from his uh, management team. Well, he was, he's the fifth CEO AIG has had in the past five years, and, and they lured him out of retirement from MetLife, and I, I think the street knew that he wasn't going to be there forever. Um, in addition to those two major asset sales, he also has announced a plan, put together a plan, to convert the, I think it's about $70 billion, um, that AIG owes the U.S., from debt into equity, and then uh, the plan is that AIG would be able to, or the uh, U.S. government would sell that equity over time in, in the capital markets. So the, the plan is in place. He was the strategic vision, and then it was going to be up to the, the next group to actually uh, put the, execute the plan. So, so are you more or less, I, I'm just trying to interpret a bit of what you're saying, that uh I get the sense from you that you believe investors will be, you know, even if the situation with Bob and Mache's health worsens, investors might not be all too concerned given the fact that, as you point out, he has put many key elements of AIG's strategic plan into place. And even if, uh, you know, given his age and given the fact that he was pulled out of retirement, people might not have expected him to stick around that long anyway. I, th I think that's correct, but but um, maybe you're overstating it by uh, saying that investors won't be concerned. This is one of the most volatile stocks in the marketplace, with the beta well over four. Uh, they did a, a reverse one for 20 stocks, but otherwise it, it'd be a, a penny stock uh, like Citigroup. So. Um, you know, their core operations are just a little bit of a step behind some of the, the leading uh, insurance companies like a Chubb or a, a Progressive. There's, they still have a lot of uh, uh, toxic assets on a balance sheet that they're slowly selling off. There are major, major issues here. Okay, no, so very quickly, John, before we go, we only have about 30 seconds. AIG stock is not trading thus far in the pre-market. Do you think it's going to take a hit on this news, or do you think that people People are going to wait for more information and just find out exactly uh, what it is that Bob Ben Moshe has and uh, the prognosis from his doctors for his chemotherapy. AIG uh, trades uh, almost exclusively on news, and, and this is not good news. I think the stock will take a hit. When they close their deal with MetLife in another week, um, it, it should get John, a pop. I'm afraid we have to run John Eat of Argus Research on the disturbing and concerning situation with Bob Ben Moshe.